Thank you, Ella. Now I move on to the research question. The study focused on both of gender, age 18 to 65 years old. BMI range was 30 to 45 or 27 to 45 with dyspolemia or hypertension or both of medical condition. There are three groups of this study. All participants received the same instruction on diet and exercise, but a different medicine. Group one and group two received the same appropriate, but a different dose of natrosome and compared to possible medicine. The primary outcome focused on the decrease in body weight more than 5%. The secondary outpoint focused on adverse effect and safety endpoints. There are three main reasons why the study was required. Obesity causes long-term complications such as cancer, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. The medicine choices are limited. The surgery is not suitable for all patients. The research design is multi-center randomized double-blind plausible control study. It can show a high fidelity or efficacy of an intervention because it reduces systemic errors such as selection bias, performance bias, and detection bias. Right now, I'm going to create this paper by critical appraisal tour from Oxford University. Then I mentioned inclusion criteria, so let's move on. There are several exclusion criteria. The women are pregnant or lecturing. The participant have history of drug or alcohol misuse, have seizure or serious psychiatric illness, have no endocrine region or surgery intervention, or have taken the appropriate or natural stone within 12 months or taken any additional weight loss medicine or weight loss or weight gain more than four kilograms within three months. There are several good tips on this clinical trial. The randomization is based on computer-generated web-based system and stratified by ethnicity, sex, and baseline. The participant enrollment and assignment is based on automatic system, and the number of ratio is one to one to one. The study site were undertaken 34 centers around the US, and there are a combination of academic and primary care center. All participants receive the equal treatment and the tablet look identical. You can see the chart over here. There are similar number of participants and similar baseline. The studies are also must study site personnel, participant, and study team. However, there are a couple of limitations. We don't know how patients comply with the diet and exercise and the dropout rate was very high. Only 50% of participants complete the trial, even though 83% of participants include in the primary analysis. There is no intention to treat analysis. This chart shows when they collect the data on a weekly basis. The study site collect body weight, blood sample, vital sign, and questionnaire. And you can see the red rectangle over here. They also collect from the participant, but they didn't mention specific time to collect the data. And the study analyzed what they collect from the participant and focused on primary and secondary outpoints. However, as I mentioned, the dropout rate was very high and there were some missing data in this paper. And the paper also mentioned it, except for the physical examination and concomitant medication. And then I'll hand over to David. He will give us the rest of clinical press. Thank you.